Following the successful launch of the Ato 3, BYD Malaysia introduces the Dolphin, a budget-friendly electric vehicle from BYD. This compact EV claims the title of BYD's most economical vehicle from the Ato 3. Designed to bring the benefits of EV technology to more people, the Dolphin boasts attractive pricing without compromising on range. Recently, I had the opportunity to review the BYD Dolphin Extended Range version. I'm here to put it through its paces and determine if it's a worthy contender against the traditional internal combustion vehicles. Join me as we explore the features, performance and overall value of the BYD Dolphin. Is it time to make the switch to electric? Let's find out. With that, we'll come back to Carsick.my for another review video. When it comes to the exterior, opinions may vary. Some may find its design funky, while others may not quite resonate with it. But one thing's for sure, BYD has injected a youthful charm into the Dolphin's appearance. BYD offers a unique twist with its exterior colors. Buyers aren't just limited to a single hue. They have the freedom to opt for a dual-tone paint job straight from the factory. To keep up with the times, the Dolphin is equipped with full LED headlights and tail lights, a hallmark feature of modern vehicles. Additionally, there is a light bar that connects both the headlights and tail lights, adding a touch of sophistication to its design. Completing the exterior are the 17-inch rims, adorned with 205 50R17 tires. And for that extra flair, the Dolphin comes with body-colored rim covers elevating its style points. One of the first things you'll notice inside the Dolphin is the prominent use of body-coloured trims. It's bald, it's vibrant, and it's somewhat stylish. From the dashboard to various accents throughout the cabin, the Dolphin exudes a cohesive aesthetic. But it's not just about the colour scheme. There's a subtle hint of sportiness injected into the cabin, evident in details like the red highlights on the aircon vents. It's a small touch, but it adds a dynamic flair to the interior. However, personal taste plays a significant role. While some may appreciate the interior design, others, like myself, might find that it doesn't quite align with their preferences. For me, the Dolphin's interior reminds me of the Ato 3, and unfortunately, it's not a design that resonates with my taste in car interiors. Just like its sibling, the Ato 3, the Dolphin's dashboard boasts a sizable 12.8-inch rotatable screen positioned prominently at the center. This screen serves as the hub of the Dolphin's infotainment system. BYD has yet to integrate Android Auto functionality, but for Apple aficionados, Apple CarPlay is readily available within the infotainment system. However, with the recent unveiling of the SEAL model, it's evident that BYD is committed to improve its software offerings. It's only a matter of time before existing Dolphin users can expect software updates for the Android Auto's availability. Returning to the screen itself, its high-definition display ensures clear visuals and readable text, yet Navigating its different settings may prove a tad challenging initially, given its rather interesting layout. Nonetheless, with a bit of familiarity, mastering the Dolphin's interface will become second nature. In the compact confines of a small car, a 360-degree camera might not be deemed essential, but it certainly adds a touch of convenience. In the Dolphin, it is equipped with its own 360-degree camera system. The Dolphin's 360-degree camera offers commandable picture quality, providing a comprehensive view around the vehicle. However, there is a slight quirk. The viewing angle seems a tad peculiar. It appears that the angles depicted on the infotainment screen could use a bit of fine-tuning from BYD engineers. Additionally, when engaging the reverse camera, I couldn't help but notice a discrepancy. The view seemed to be inverted compared to what one would see outside the vehicle. Yet, 
this can be easily rectified with some software updates. As for the instrument cluster, you'll find a familiar 5-inch screen, reminiscent of the one found on the Ato 3. However, like the Ato 3, this screen may appear a tad busy, as it accommodates a plethora of information in a compact space. And in order to keep your devices juiced up on the go, the Dolphin boasts multiple USB charging slots strategically placed throughout. Upon a careful count, you'll find two USB-A slots, two USB-C slots, and not forgetting the traditional 12V socket. And that's not all, there's also a wireless charger for your convenience. Stepping into the driver's seat, it's clear that comfort was a priority for BYD. The plush cushion provides a soft landing, while the side bolstering ensures you are securely held in place. However, one minor drawback is the inability to adjust the seat low enough for the cocoon feeling that I prefer. Moving to the rear, passengers are treated to spacious second row seating. There's ample legroom and headroom, allowing passengers to stretch out and relax. Plus, with no centre tunnel encroaching on space, everyone gets their fair share of legroom. The back seats boast a comfortable reclining angle, making long journeys a breeze for those seated in the rear. From the front to the back, the BYD ensures comfort for all occupants, making every ride an enjoyable experience. While its interior boasts a darker colour scheme, the Dolphin's spaciousness is illuminated by a vast panoramic glass roof. This glass roof may not open, but it floods the interior with natural light, creating an airy and inviting atmosphere. Despite its compact size, the Dolphin surprises with a generously sized boot. With 345 litres of storage space and the ability to fold down the rear seats, you'll have ample room for all your cargo needs. And while it may lack some convenience features like a power tailgate, the Dolphin's affordability still makes it a sensible choice for those seeking practicality without breaking the bank. To keep costs accessible, the Dolphin features a single electric motor positioned at the front of the vehicle, powering the front wheels. For the top tier model, it's equipped with a 60.5 kilowatt hour battery, offering an estimated range of 490 kilometers as per NEDC rating. With this powertrain setup, here are the numbers you can expect. Upon stepping into the Dolphin for the very first time, you might notice something quite unusual the gear shifting mechanism. Unlike conventional vehicles, the Dolphin features a unique toggle system to get you moving. Once on the move, the Dolphin's instant torque effortlessly propels the vehicle forward. However, with just one electric motor set up, don't expect the next snapping acceleration of dual motor EVs. Nevertheless, the Dolphin accelerates with finesse, swiftly reaching desired speeds. Thanks to its instant torque, Throttle response is immediate, ensuring a smooth and engaging driving experience. So, while it may not pack the punch of a dual motor EV, the Dolphin offers a refined and responsive ride that's sure to make every journey a pleasurable one. On a full charge, the instrument cluster display a rather optimistic 509km distance to empty. In actuality, you can expect a range closer to 450 kilometers, especially if you are driving in an eco-friendly manner. Charging wise, the factory claims a maximum charging speed of 80 kilowatts. However, during my time with the car, I found that the fastest charging speed I observed was about 59 kilowatt on a 200 kilowatt charger. Sure, it might not be the fastest charging vehicle on the block, but at this price point, I think this charging speed is more than acceptable. Just like the Ato 3, the Dolphin boasts a comfortable suspension system designed for a smooth ride. But don't mistake its comfort for detachment. Unlike the Ato 3, the Dolphin strikes a balance with its suspension, firm enough to maintain road connection, yet soft enough for a pleasant journey. However, the suspension rebound is on the slower side, 
which can lead to unexpected hops when tackling uneven terrain, especially during turns. You might expect this behaviour from the rear wheels for most vehicles, but with the Dolphin, this happens to the front wheels. It's a characteristic that demands attention, catching driver off guard if they are not accustomed to this characteristic. The steering wheel has a substantial weight to it, offering the driver reassuring feedback. Its precision makes navigating corners a breeze, instilling confidence in every turn. However, when it comes to handling, there is a weak point, the tyres. While the Dolphin's steering is precise, its tyre lacks the grip of better tyres. If you are a Dolphin owner, consider upgrading your tyres for improved performance. Swapping them out for something grippier will elevate your driving experience, enhancing the car's overall drivability. Also similar to the Ato 3, I find that the regenerative brakes on the Dolphin aren't as strong as those found in other EVs. In many instances, the physical brakes need to engage to supplement the regenerative braking, providing a familiar driving experience akin to traditional vehicles. When it comes to safety, the BYD Dolphin doesn't disappoint. It's equipped with a comprehensive suite of driver assistance systems that are standard in modern vehicles. However, I have noticed a minor inconvenience. The lane centering system requires deactivation every time the vehicle is started, which can become tedious over time. Fortunately, this issue could also be resolved with a simple software update. Despite these minor considerations, let's take a closer look at the safety features and driver assistance systems offered by the BYD Dolphin. Priced at just 126,000 ringgit, the Dolphin offers an affordable entry point for those curious about EVs but not ready to break the bank. Whether you're a first-time EV buyer or simply seeking a budget-friendly option, the Dolphin checks all the boxes. Sure, if you have a larger budget, there are higher-end EVs on the market. But for the price, the Dolphin delivers everything you need with little to complain about. Hope you enjoyed this review. Please kindly leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more future review videos. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. If you want to find out more about the BYD Dolphin, please kindly head on over to our website, carsick.my for more information. Hope to see you soon. Bye.